My name is Ramsony, and welcome back to Arcanium. At the top of this episode, I would like to again thank Super Combo and Rogue for sponsoring this series. You can find a link at the top of the description down below to pick up the game for yourself. Okay. We are on sunset of day three out of four. We have 888 gold that is not used to really uh, do anything just yet. So we should try and find something that we can actually do with that. All right, we don't want to leave all of that value on the table. Here is a hoard. Well, that's not really going to help us too much, is it? That's undiscovered, undiscovered, but all of the tiles up until there have been consumed. Do I actually have to enter that tile? Or will I reveal what they are with their adjacencies? Let's move a couple spaces up. Okay, it reveals them with their adjacencies. Uh, Alchemist to buy new items. I don't really want to buy new items specifically. I'm looking at this space and it's feeling... Well, actually, hang on. The Alchemist doesn't count as a uh, usage for us, so we can go here. Yeah, we already, uh, already picked these up. I'm, I'm not going to spend money. Let's go around here. This is undiscovered entirely. It's a unique symbol that we haven't seen anywhere else. I want to buy new artifacts, so I definitely want to go to this forge. I also kind of want to go to this... Oh, the portal is uh, fast travel to other provinces, right? Okay, so yeah, that's to fast travel up here. Uh, I'm just looking for any opportunity to spend a bunch of money. Just any opportunity, please. Game. Where can I give you money? Okay. I don't want to travel there. Let's move to this space. Oracle, transmute cards into new cards of a higher rarity. Uh, there's an event and then an outpost for minion cards. I mean, look, we have Ragnarok's upgraded alt. So we could really try and do more minion things. The only problem is our minions are uh, promotion minions. So we would want other things to be either the base for the promotion minions, which only their attack even contributes, or just minion buffs really is what we're looking for. Okay. Uh, well, let's, let's peace out in this direction. Go back to our original plan of going to this forge, buying some new artifacts. We can re-roll here. Rust Knuckles heals two damage if you have no more than nine cards in your deck. Not relevant. Uh, deal six in splash whenever you... Okay, yeah, let's, let's take the re-roll here. Teleport whenever you would dash. So dash is only to an adjacent location and teleport is to any location. And the teleport also bypasses movement impairing effects such as root. Well, but dash also bypasses movement impairing effects. So it's literally just like get yourself extra range when you do that. Mm. Is that good? Mm. And cleanse whenever you hit an enemy. Let's actually reorient ourselves a little bit with what the characters are specifically attempting to accomplish for us. So we have the Poison Lord here, right? We've got Tara doing a bunch of poison. Also is wearing... Actually, can we look at your artifacts here just for a second? Yes. Uh, Tara is also wearing the Wizard Hood to increase the poison that she's applying by any of the cards by two. Minions deal zero damage whenever they attack you specifically. That could kind of go on anyone. We'll figure out where that goes later. But she has the ability to use her ranged abilities with no range limit and does extra poison. We also have a potion in the Potion of Dreams here. Let's uh, pull you back in. Potion of Dreams. Swiftness. Let's get rid of Swiftness for Momentum. Definitely happy about that trade right there. Uh, the Potion of Dreams. Choose a card from your deck and add it to your hand. It's not specifically your in-play active draw pile. That is not what it's referring to as the deck. It is your deck, right? All of the cards that you have access to. So we use that to get a ridiculous amount of poison out very, very quickly. And then just start having that target tick down, basically. Uh, so that's what Tara accomplishes for us. Shinzo. 
Jinzo, you've got some upgraded cards in here. They're all the bolster cards. Uh, so you having taunts is pretty good for triggering your bolster effects. Obviously, you've got three bolster effects in the deck already. Two copies of Sacred Bulwark. Could I remove that? I can definitely probably remove one of them. Uh, the Seismic Strike for the eight damage in a line with Shield Steel. I think I can actually remove both of those. We'll add the Crushing Blow and Juggernaut Strike. And then I'll remove a Sacred to add the Titanic Shield. So the Titanic Shield is Bolster. Uh, again, just in case you'd forgotten over the interim between the last episode and now. Whenever this hero takes a hit, says Bolster, reduce the cost of this card by one AP until played. And then we've also got Crushing Blow. Sorry, uh, and the Titanic Shield will give us 14 Shield as well as draw a card on that. Uh, crushing Blow is 14 damage. Double its damage if the cost of the card is zero. So 28 damage in a single hit. That's pretty dang good. And then we've got the Juggernaut Strike here as well. Deals 11 damage and Taunt in a splash. It also has Shield Steel and it's also Bolster. So it's a really good piece to put in the middle of Bolster uh, build. So Shinzo is about defending themselves and others. Uh, Shinzo also has a broadsword for dealing two extra melee damage. Uh, Paragon of Wisdom, the healing and shielding they apply is increased by two. They gain four shields at the start of the turn and then basic training armor. Giving the eight health. All right, and then we have Ragnarok who draws a card the first time he swaps lanes in a turn. Also has the Hollow Cloak for first swap costs zero. I could give him the range jump, right? from Mamiko's phase shifts are here. I'm actually a little keen to do that. Hmm. Restore a health whenever you damage an enemy. That's actually kind of interesting on Shinzo right now, just because Shinzo also has the healing and shielding you apply is increased by two. So this would be restore three health whenever you damage an enemy, which that makes... That makes a tank. Shinzo, do you have any artifacts you'd happily drop? I mean, you're not really our damage engine. You could drop Broadsword. I think I'd take Sparring Staff and Mamiko's Phase Shifter here. Largely, this is because I'm trying to get value out of the gold before we actually end, right? I don't want to end up in a situation where I'm taking a bunch of gold to uh, possibly the grave. Uh, let's give you the captain sap because you've got the lowest HP. Then you get the sparring staff with aforementioned, and you get Mimiko's phase shifter. So now what I need to do is just... That's a trainer as well. No, that's a forge! Oh, no, that's a forge. Oh, no. I'm going to get there. I'm going to be sad that I don't have the money. I thought I discovered it, though. Forge for new artifacts. Yeah, I, I've been... I thought I'd been here. Even if I had, I should have come back here for another reroll just to have a look around, I think. Okay, what's the most impactful thing I can do? Transmute cards into new cards of higher rarity. Find new abilities. Like, a rest space would be huge. This, out here, this undiscovered shrine would be pretty big. The only problem is getting there, right? How do I get to that shrine without... Ooh, that's undiscovered. Actually, hang on. All oh, these are undiscovered. That's undiscovered. Wait, there's no way I can do this, right? We go all the way through here. Something interesting. That's a higher rarity. That's the minion outpost. That's also something interesting. Yeah, no, I would need to be able to get... Because that's undiscovered, 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 right? So undiscovered, undiscovered, undiscovered. Um, when the bar is full, the province boss will instantly battle you. So the third space I stand on that is currently undiscovered or unused cannot be the one that I intend to use. Uh, which I think just does mean that shrine is out of my reach. In terms of very dense spaces, like this area with an artifact and an ability after a fight is yeah, that's pretty dense. 
in terms of the value it provides for us. I'm probably not going to be able to finish a quest during this time anymore. Mm, okay, fine. Let's go to this portal, fast travel to uh, Arnador. And then take this elite battle. Is that really what I'm about to do? If nothing else, it'll give me gold, and then maybe I can go... I'm probably not going to be able to afford to go over to that forge and reroll, right? That's that's a, a pipe dream right there, I think. Okay. Uh, the Elite Shadowback Triant has a passive corrupted sap, applies Dispel 1 upon being hit. Uh, armor Planing X, gain 80 shield upon taking 20 or more damage in a single hit. The Elite Armored Spider Gold. And we have to defeat three elite enemies for this as well. So not necessarily all of these, but you can defeat one and then have it respawn. But uh, final is another armor plating of the exact same variety. Interesting. Let's go in. Okay. Fine with those heroes positions. By base, I typically am. Okay, so you are dealing multi-strike five damage with three in a line, which is those uh yes okay so i can shield myself extremely effectively mm. got two toxic arrows here as well so if i want to i can start trying to double 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 I kind of want to take your hit there. Yeah. Because now, if I defend, I'm going to get three triggers towards Bolster. Uh, so basically, anything that you have that you can get rid of, you probably do want to get rid of. So let's get rid of the extra taunt for Fury there. Let's give you your AoE. I just want you to have more cards in hand on a later turn so that many of them are going to be bolster cards and zero costs. Uh, this also gives Ragnarok the ability to hold their protection for a later turn, which I feel pretty happy about. Get an attack command. Get him another attack command. Are we going to be dealing individually? That is to say, am I now also just going to throw the Toxic on the same line? You are summoning Doombark this turn. Is that what... Am I reading this correctly? Yeah, your passive is applying the dispel. Your action right now is to summon Doombark, a 10-10. Yikes. Hmm. I think especially with the amount of cleaves we're gonna be doing, damage and total splash. Wait, okay, so is it deal 9 damage and taunt in a splash, or is it deal 9 damage and taunt in a splash? Yeah, well, it's got to be taunt in a splash, right? Because if it was damage that was being shared across, it would be cleave. This card is less powerful than I thought it was. It's still good, right? It's three taunts going off at the same time. It's got shield seal. It's got 9 damage. Like, it's not bad. Um, but I thought it was 9 damage AoE as well as everything else. Uh... You apply a dispel upon being hit. Yeah, no, it'd be cleanse if you wanted it. Okay, cool. Just keep going. Alright, seems good to me. Let the enemies have theirs. Is that tree bark we were looking at? So we shuffle. You killed something as well as bolstered the heck out of all of us. Ah, uh, sniper shots. I have the ability just to straight up destroy the doom bark, which is nice. Viper shots here too. Good, good, good. Ooh, and protection. Wow, we have a good turn. Uh, well, actually, no. The, the protection is still important because I'm about to give this shadow bark the ability to root our whole party because we're gonna have the juggernaut strike hitting it but i'm, I'm okay with that actually I'm pretty pretty okay with that uh sorry card. okay uh let's give you 
That hit. Now everyone's attacking the right target. If both of you run a protection, we can prevent the 10 damage on either side here. So good work there. Now, Sniper Shot takes out that minion, happy to do so. Taking that much poison at the end of the round. Okay, let's see if I can draw a low-cost arrow that I'm particularly happy about. And I definitely am. Toxic arrow. Throw that out. And then the Viper Strike applying eight more poison before hitting the enemy. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have Crushing Blow come out for its max value this turn. Or on a later turn, rather. Or damage to myself. Okay with that. I think I actually might still be okay with that. Let's uh let's start finishing out Ragnarok here first, though. So this is only gonna draw two cards, not taking us above the hand limit of five. Uh, I guess I'll throw sneak attack first, because that's not gonna get modified by putting down another promotion. Speaking of putting down another promotion, we'll put down two more promotions before we send out an attack command. Nice. That is dead. Um, yours is there. Yours is there. Okay. So I can actually move Ragnarok over, drawing a card for you, getting battle hardened. It's actually interesting that you could just stand here and battle harden and, and be fine. But what we're really going to do is use Reptarian Army here, and then we're just going to move ourselves back. Actually, you know what? Shinzo saves a lot of AP. You can move yourself back. There we go. I think I'm done. Other than maybe, like, marking you. No, I should have done that in the previous area if I was going to be able to. Uh, fine, just heal yourself to draw a card. I really want to sneak attack and just finish this right now. Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't even... Wouldn't even... I'm very tempted to pull out the bullseye and just go for this target here. Taking 31. Good. Oh, right, yes, because you've got nature resistances. That makes sense. And Tara would not be able to deal enough damage with just the bullseye. on that hit. This unit's going to die before it does any damage to us. Headbutt. Headbutt. I just heal myself back up to full. Unfortunate that that's the order that went in. Alright, pull out your ult. Use that to moiter. 30 damage in line, eh? Shinzo's really undefended right now. Like, I can pull up the, the shield wall. Actually, maybe I should pull up the shield wall. Right? Blocks the hero behind it, making it untargetable. Okay, so the line still penetrates. A little scared of that. Uh, Ragnarok teleports, don't you? No? Ragnarok? Oh, right, yeah, no, because that's not a movement. It's a dash, so we still need to have a car that dashes. Intent shield, that's not going to be possible. Uh, kill this unit before it does anything. That also feels like it's probably not going to be possible. There's a poison on the target. We don't have any ability to apply poison right now. Okay, 
what could I do? Do you you don't have any dashes, right? No. I don't want Shinzo to leave this fight on no HP. But it also does not really feel like I have a choice. Get poisoned. Start from that. Then... <clears throat> I guess... Venomous Dart. And then we... Choose to add Venomous Dart back to your hands. And then you do have the ability to throw out two heart seekers here. 14 damage apiece. Oh, the enemy had 36 block! What? 36 shield, brother. Oh. Shinzo, I believe you are just gonna take damage, friends. This is this doesn't seem possible. my answer to this. Ooh, wiper shots can pick up there. We... I think we can just get the kill with these. Unfortunately, you don't have any healing or anything like that you can do. Uh, we do that, then we viper shot, then we get venom, then we get venom. Are you kidding me? I messed up. Hmm... Four by three. Mm. I think I actually might be fine. Let's throw out that bullseye. 20 or more damage in a single hit, eh? Ragnarok moves over here, getting an attack command. Nice. Uh, we go Raptarian spawn, Raptarian spawn. Attack command. You know, draw the ult, play the ult, and then sneak attack. Another sneak attack, that's the end of the round. Three out of three enemies defeated. We pick up. Oh, 153 gold. That is enough for a reroll now. All healing you receive is increased by three. All shielding you receive is increased by four. What? It's, hmm. Your abilities have a 25% chance to draw one card, though. Thanks. Uh, all shielding you receive is increased by four. Or all healing you receive is increased by three. A character would just be able to fully heal themselves with that relic as well as the other one whenever you hit an enemy heal all shielding you receive is increased by four at the start of every round shinzo uh shields for four i believe yeah wooden target Gains four shields at the start of the turn and six shields at the start of the turn do i want to gain 10 shield at the start of every turn yeah i do i do, I do want that Shinzo, you need to drop your sparring staff here. Excuse me. Drop your sparring. Excuse me. Drop your. Excuse me. Bud. Oh, I, we're currently considered in battle, I guess. All right. Venomous Dart does all poison on the target. I don't know how to tell you. That's extremely what we're doing. Juggernaut Strike. Top Bolster and Splash. Ox Charge. Deals eight damage per AP spent. Applies a weak. Uh, apply twofold. Yeah, definitely go for the Juggernaut Strike there as well. And I am going to be looking for ways to fit those into each of the decks. The Juggernaut Strike, I'll probably drop instead of the Sacred... Ah, again, I'm going to have to leave the battle first before I can actually do it. Good. Uh, Sacred Borg goes out, Juggernaut goes in, Artifact Sparring goes out. I know we spent so much money on that not long ago, but it, it happens. Uh, and then you... 
I'm happy to take like basically all the hard secret arrows out of this deck. Three of those is too many for me. Okay. That's one pretty dense impactful space we managed to get some value out of. Good. Happy to see it. How many more like it? How many more of its ilk are there? This one? But that requires two... Uh, two discoveries to get to from pretty much any direction right now. There is the possibility of going here and then just opening up all of these so that I can look at them. Honestly, that's probably not a bad idea. Oh, no, I didn't want to fast travel there, actually. Yeah. So you're going to survive for four rounds? Look at that. We can able to get that one done. Hopefully we, uh... Get some time to heal Shinzo. Hey, speaking of healing Shinzo, let's heal Shinzo right now. Why are you getting eight? Four shields at the start of the turn. I guess. Yeah, you apply may not count artifacts as application. It's the only way that really makes sense to me right now. Up there. I don't want to mark a prey, you actually. So I am about to draw three cards with balls and wall, which is incredible. Here we go. Upgrade. Upgrade. Draw three more cards with balls and wall. I mean, if I could restore health on someone else, I would, but I can't, so I won't. Gosh. Good attack command we're setting ourselves up for already. Uh, I can just hard cast the defend from Titanic Shield right now. And it might not be a bad idea with Shinzo having as low HP as they do. Head about it be totally useful right now. Doubles all poison on the target. It really feels like I should leave that for a while until I have more poison on the targets. Uh, two toxic arrows. Now I'm pushing in the other direction. Now I kind of want to unleash them on the enemies. Let's loose those arrows. Okay, and then the extra AP goes to Ragnarok over here so that we may cause our namesake. Hitting them with attack command. Another attack command. And then a sneak. I... Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I think actually what I'm going to do here is take the opportunity to... Do I really want to do this right now? Yeah, I should. I'm going to take the opportunity to move across, drawing an extra card for free, and then use the Raptarian Army alt. I don't even think I need to move back, though. Unfortunately, that did... Oh, I should have moved back for the sake of the ball stuff. That's that's why I needed to move back. Totally forgot about that. Uh, double the poison on the target just gets the kill here for me, I think. So let that one resolve. Battle Hardened will prevent all damage here. Although with Attack Command, I do kind of just want to swap back to my original position. And you've also prevented all damage here already, Shinzo. So we'll get Ragnarok's move. Spoils of War, my god. My god. I really like all of the kind of... All the ridiculous stuff we're doing right now with the Spoils of War draws. Oh, Spoils of War would have drawn four. It draws one plus an extra card for each allied minion on the board. Okay, yeah, so I, I was underutilizing that before my apologies. Okay, 
Let's draw a random card, get a heart seeker. Really incredible. I'm gonna start with a headbutt. Because then I can cleave cleave such that the doom bark doesn't even come out. You know what? Pop down a shield for myself. I also throw out the sweeping strike here. You don't really gain shield. Like, I guess I could. No need to, though. They come back every single turn. I really wish Shinzo could afford to take all of the damage that I want Shinzo to be able to take here. Mm, I think I have to save Shinzo here. You're gonna die. And then this goes in a line, so we'll actually hit that. We are gonna get poisoned. Uh, less. Unless we continue doing something about it. It's one unit down. So, eight damage comes through here. Also, Shinzo has 51 block now? Uh, when that happened again? I guess, wait, the shield steal in Splash might have actually done it. Or mayhaps I have made a mistake of some kind without recognizing it. Hey, that would be very much like it. Uh, kind of just want to again leave things as they are. Not overused too many resources there. That attack was piercing. Survive this round, babe. Uh, uh, uh. Ragnarok moves over here. Uh, uh, uh. Uses your ult. Get Shinzo to move back in this position so that I can throw out a attack command and then spoils the war, drawing four more cards. Attack command. I mean, look, that unit's already dead before it does anything. So how much do I really need to manage them, you know? Okay, yeah, that is actually giving the, the shield steal in sweep as well. This enemy is the only one that's doing piercing effects, so I don't really care. Because they're going to be dead. Okay. I love that Raptarian spawn, though. Final turn. And we survived four rounds. Nice. Not a huge amount of gold. Another copy of Spoils of War, eh? It's also adaptation for healing up Tara mid fight, as well as Leechwood Arrow for also healing up Tara mid fight. Uh, I, feel, I feel like my limitation on Ragnarok is not draw. Ragnarok, do you have any zero costs? You've got barrel roll. I don't really do anything, though. The other spoils of war. 
If Ragnarok maybe had some zero costs in things like Attack Command and Sneak Attack, then maybe I would incorporate this in some way. But I'm going to actually take gold here. Just see if maybe I even have the ability to get that far up. Destroy an allied minion is Punt, the Ragnarok card here. Deal piercing damage in a line equal to twice its attack value. Oh. If I didn't already have a, a poison plan, by the way, we're going to be taking the Venom Stunt. If I didn't already have a poison plan, that would be one of the ways that I was looking to try and scale, right? Anytime I... Let me clarify my thought for a second. Anytime I'm in a, uh, a, a, a roguelikes broadly, to be frank, uh, anytime I see an effect that is multiplicative, instantly I'm already looking like, oh, okay, well, ha hmm, what is the numbers that would make that super good? Uh, what, what numbers make that something that I can't afford to avoid? Because a lot of the time, how you do the biggest numbers are the multiplicative effects. Or infinites and things like that. Yeah. Uh, I kind of think I want to go to an event to end now. Normal battle is one essence. I don't think we have the ability to get to another essence, though. Like, if I go here, it's just going to instantly teleport me away, right? No? But it said instantly. Well, okay. Well, okay, 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 okay. Uh, shuffle horrified cards in the target deck. So the car, uh, the unit on the board that needs the least unique cards to draw and cares the most about not having their deck trashed is. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba! Shinzo, of course. Of course it's Shinzo. Well, of course it's Shinzo. Uh, so, if this is going to be Shinzo, how do I play with you? Well, we headbutt, and then juggle this So we're going to take the eight piercing here. Not a fan of that. Um, but it freezes up to two things like Toxic Arrow, Toxic Arrow, Toxic Arrow. Marion Spawn, Mark of Prey, Nature Guard, yeah. uh, Mark of Prey, attack. Trying to even want to play the Pulverize right now, to be honest. But I should probably save the AP. Alright, and let's deal 10 damage there. All of these enemies having nature resistance is rough, but if our multiplicatives are enough, it's not going to matter, ideally. Although I did just put all of the poison on a single target that I'm intending to kill in two turns, so maybe maybe I could have paced myself a little better there. Looks like we're seeing a summon on the board. Crushing blow does its double damage right now as well. Up to Sid, lose six health and group yourself. Uh, mm. Let's get the Raptarian spawn out there. This will draw three cards for us now. Protection. Unfortunately, I can only really use those on myself, but I do want to try and cycle through cards still. When the enemies have nature resistance as consistently as surely you're wrong. Uh, you cop that. Maybe cop one of those too. Or have you considered copying that? Just giving you some options. Uh, this ghastly bite over here, I actually kind of feel like I want Ragnarok to take that hit. Spoils of war again. That's Romitarian. Uh, I feel bad that I'm not using that attack command on a specific area, but hey, it's okay. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I couldn't draw my ult because I have four hands on it. That was all poison on the target to play eight poison, so let's... I mean, first... We, actually, I could not mending, because then I get to heal up after the ghastly bite, maybe. If I get the right card before the Ghastly Bite, I don't even need it. Yeah, exactly. Double Venom start here just gets the kill. 
there were a lot of outs in the deck at that point. It was a, a thick out. Uh, slap a shot across to you and then give you a crushing blow as well. I think I can probably pulverize, get our kill here too, preventing another Doom Bark from coming down on the board. Now does Shinzo want to move across or anything like that? Honestly, they kind of do. The big reason for that is because Ragnarok wants to stand directly behind the best minion. Ooh, we should do that next time. While it's not removing any fury, oh, because it's not removing any fury, I can't even discard. It's a cost associated rather than a downside associated that you can avoid by not having the ability to pay that cost. Got it. All right, uh, shards being revealed. So now we just need really dense attacking turns. Sweeping strike. Sneak and attack. Command and attack. Spoil of war for a full redraw. Okay. Uh, we'll grant you two AP give you the ability to mark the enemy vulnerable. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, pourquoi? They are not vulnerable. All right. Well, I'm just going to go back to giving you good old whaps then. Get another Raptarian spawn out of the board. I really wish Tara had poison, please. Ah! <laughs> uh, actually, that's fine, right? I'll give you the poison. I'm probably not going to double it here, but it is a good way to set up our heart secret arrows. Else. I should probably use my ult first if I know it's going to be used. Some sweep. Hmm. Are you really taking four? Oh, you just got a straight up resist of half damage. Huh. I did not know that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to Venomous Dart here. I think I actually will pull out your zero cost Venomous Dart and do it again. If not now, when? And then the final thing, I guess, would be moving Shinzo and then using a headbutt. Yeah. Kills the shot in this turn. Nothing but frag, Sudobi. A bit more gold. Yeah, still only a huge amount. Um, Viper Shot, Crushing Blow, and Trample. Trample, Bolster, lose all shields, deal damage in a line equal to its value. Again, a situation where I would probably take that if I didn't already have a poison kind of plan that I feel uh, a little bit more comfortable with. It's it's nice. It works into the Bolster kinds of stuff. It's also more nature focused. So if things are harsh for me, it's even harsher. I'm going to take the gold. Uh, you are actually kidding me though, right? Camouflage is gain stealth. Stealth units cannot be directly targeted by any new abilities. Stealth breaks upon taking damage, and CC cannot be removed. I mean, obviously, we take another Venom start here. Um, the problem being, we don't really have much base. Okay, Rakzar. Let's quickly set ourselves up with another Venom start for you. Okay, Rakzar looms ahead of you, casting harsh shadows in this arid wasteland. His golden armor glinting in the sun. He almost appears godlike. Aside from the purple haze of corruption in his cold eyes, the sands of time are up. Shinzo's not coming in with good HP value. Let's think about Shinzo's artifact in here for a second. What if I got rid of the wooden target? Because Shinzo often over defends and then just added back in the sparring staff, right? The sparring staff restore one health whenever you do that. Oh, but 
Restore one health whenever you damage an enemy may not be inflicted, uh, changed by the Paragon, right? Because if it would have been changed by the Paragon, then uh, Wooden Targon should have also been changed by the Paragon. Well, I'm going to immediately undo the thing that I thought was going to be quite clever there. Bosses change passives at the start of each round. Bosses review to CC. Uh, gain immune upon getting hit is the golden skin here. Gain stasis after receiving four hits on a single turn. Cleanse all debuffs. This church and seal. Don't like that. Um, and then celestial bonds, sun disc, give rakzar, 25% damage reduction. On destroy, we apply five vulnerable to rakzar. The sun disc they're talking about reduces all light coming, uh, incoming damage by 50. They apply shock. They use damage. And yeah, they, they get played out themselves. So they're effectively, I, I believe, probably a minion, right? Well, without the ability much at this point to modify things, I think we go in. Why have you entered my domain? Neil, if you wish to speak to me. Rungsar takes 25% less damage for each Sun Disc that alive. Keep the Sun Discs destroyed to deliver maximum damage to Rungsar. I got a good line of sight on him. Those Discs don't look too friendly. Ah, we do actually get the ability to take the Essence upgrade in time. That's what I uh, took the extra battle for, by the way. If you refuse to kneel before me, I shall make you show the proper respect for a Chosen. I think... Extra increased AP on Ragnarok is always going to be useful for us. Can't be moved or destroy at the vulnerable. Gain immune upon taking direct damage or minion damage. So you will trigger that on the Soldier of Illinois. Also, the Viper Shot will actually trigger that on you too. Because it will hit you. I feel like the Mendings are probably going to be important in this battle. Like, I, I want to hold them until they're actually active. Shock's effect is light damage to adjacent targets whenever they're hit. Oof. Shinzo's going to have a little bit of a rough time here, I feel like. Uh, well, Shinzo, you can immediately restore, right? That's totally fine by you. Let's battle harden ourselves here. This Waz of War is nice, but I also... I kind of want to play other cards first, but I also don't want to play other cards first. It's a weird position to be. The Soldier Beat. I want to have five extra HP here. Why have they, why have they got that? It's definitely brain time. So Roxanne is going to be adding Shackled to us to apply five Vulnerable to ourselves. We don't really have uh, much Cleanse or Dispel or anything of the sort. Hence my concern. I mean, these Sun Discs are also committing their own actions, right? So we should focus on them at least a little. I should also actually probably taunt that over here. Far better equipped to take that. Juggernaut strike for uh, more bolster, but also taunt in a splash. Do I want to take all of the shock from enemies? I don't want both shocks to go on the same person, right? Because then every time Shinzo gets hit, they deal damage to Ragnarok and Tara. Well, six damage to Ragnarok and Tara each time. Yeah. And for the person that's my tank, that's not grand. I'm going to underdraw with the Spoils of War just to try and... You are kidding me. Let's go Sneak Attack and then the Underdraw with Spoils of War. You are actually kidding me, right? 
literally the rest of Ragnarok's deck is Reptarian spawn, Reptarian spawn, Reptarian spawn, protection, Mark the Prey. I wanted Mark the Prey or any of the Reptarian spawns. I got none of them. Got a brutal zero of the things that I wanted there. But if I do the damage in AoE, I actually kill that Sunburst in time. I like that. Okay. It's all right. Your sneak attack. Throw your attack. Come on. Um, and another one. I think I might actually give you two AP right now just to kill the Sun Disc this turn. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use Mending here. See if I get anything long enough range to kill. It is. Saving the 2 AP for a later turn. So now Rockzar has 10 stacks of Vulnerable. <laughs> now Rockzar has immediately removed all stacks of Vulnerable. However, now that they are on Cleanse All Debuffs, Gain 40 Shield, they are the furthest, I think, this is obviously, I don't know how exactly it works, but I think they are now the furthest they ever can be from their next ability to do that. That's what makes the most sense to me. So I need to poison them pretty fiercely. So, poison. I mean, at a certain point, double is just better than everything else. So, hang on. First off, what's this attack? 30 damage applies blind, blind, force the target to redirect its attack to minion row. Blinded targets cannot target heroes, and CC cannot be removed. CC cannot be removed. So just one of our characters is being taken out of... The enemy doesn't summon minions. <laughs> what? What did... <laughs> what does Shinzo even do after this then? Their job might just be stand there and look gorgeous. And well done on that chin, so defined eyebrows. Okay, so does it, is it better for us? Yeah, it's, it's, it's better if we use this to draw something that is a dense application of poison, like Viper Shot, and then do two Venomous Darts afterwards. Tara also does just want to get back to her other poison cards now as soon as possible. So I'm going to have you discard straight up both cards there. Just increase your cycle through your deck. Um, speaking of increasing cycle through the deck, uh, Shinzo, you've, uh, you, you got moves that aren't going to be useful at all next turn. So I might recommend using them at all this turn. Gonna draw Titanic Shield. Nice. Ooh, and a protection, baby. Oh my god! We actually have the ability to pop the ult out! Ha! Get it, shield wall! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Oh, that's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Uh, I can't use my ult this time. If I do, I destroy the block from the shield wall, and it, it really needs that right now. Okay. Still got that poison on you. Being stasis after receiving four hits in a turn, that's fine. I don't intend to hit you. Uh, poison. Poison. Double the damage. So you are taking straight up 160 from this. You're not resisting anything. That's, um... That concerns me, because I thought... Yeah, Rockstar gains 25% damage reduction. I guess it's just 25% specific. 
like incoming attack damage reduction. Uh, that protection. Really want to move Ragnarok over. I also want Shinzo to take one damage, then I can pulverize, pulverize. Because you currently gain stasis after receiving four hits on a turn. Right? And stasis is. What's the keyword for stasis? Excuse me? Uh, okay, I can't pull that up. I'm holding right click. Okay, uh, not necessarily entirely certain what stasis is. I imagine the enemy can't do anything, but we can't do anything either. But I'm okay with them summoning a, a Sun Guardian that's immune. It doesn't have block. That would be the point at which I'd be concerned. For us, we pop down a Reptarian spawn as well as a Reptarian army. I don't really want to mark the boss if I can avoid it. Sneak attack is nice. Stasis can't be damaged, healed, effect, or removed. But I. Did the applications of poison account as hitting you? Stasis is a CC effect. This villain cannot be affected by CC. Well then, how? Huh? Are they gonna take damage after this or not? I guess there's no reason not to just throw these out. boss has stasis, that is. Uh, let's draw some cards. Sarian. Let's draw that attack command. Sarian. Attack command. Draw infinite cards again. It'll have a kill on that side already. I guess I just hold. Yeah, that stasis prevented all of the damage. Um... Okay. Didn't didn't think that was how that was going to happen. Yep, and then they rotated and removed all of my poison. That's really annoying. Uh, okay, so how do I deal with this? Unfortunately, I have no poison on Tara at the moment. Uh, okay. Headbutt here. That's not going to be able to do its double damage. Tara needs to get out of dodge. Tara will just die. You also just need to hold for a giant poison turn. There's no other way we can kill Graxar now. We needed the damage from that turn. It was fine if it got dismissed after it did the damage, but uh, that's not how that one went. Draw and play your ult. Get that to take all the damage it can. Why are you dying? Oh, right, of course, because the splash effect got it. Um. Well, yeah, I guess there's nothing I can really do about that there. Start getting rid of some of the cards here that aren't going to help you kill something instantly. Cool. Just rotated their passive. Poison, 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 poison. Mm, it's poison. 
it do be poison though. Let's poison you. I think I gotta go double double still. I just, I need damage out on the board. I don't have too many options for how to try and generate it anymore. We can headbutt there and then go for the bolster. I mean, the bolster is already 20. Artoods gets that kill. We have the vulnerability on you. You're not immune. Wait, you are immune? Incoming damage is reduced to zero, breaking off one stack of immune. It ignores bleed, burn, hex, and poison. Good. <laughs> Needed to be certain that it was going to ignore those. Uh, we don't really have minions right now. So, Ragnarok's pretty sad about that. We're all out of position. Yep, really didn't want to be putting too much stuff in her deck, but it happens. Stasis after receiving four hits on a turn. I am going to double your poison. You are apparently now dead. I'm going to end the turn. Got him. Whew! Rakza is defeated. Uzia is cleansed of corruption. The light is fading. What happened? I feel so... exhausted. It's like I'm waking up from a dark dream, filled with temptation. I wasn't able to resist. I'm supposed to be a light in the land. I failed to see it. I will shine bright for restoration. Arkan's power is insane. We're glad we were here to set things right. I thought the Chosen would be able to hold strong against the corruption. Uziel is no longer a bastion of death and corruption. This is no longer a breeding ground for his army. With the light restored, we should get moving. This corruption isn't going to cleanse itself. It most certainly is not. We have the raw summary here, but I feel like we've collected all of the things we will get to in this run. And now we're in our end screen. Thanks for playing. As you return to the inn, you gather your thoughts and plan your next move. The world of Arzu seems lighter, cleaner, and all signs of corruption have abated from the area and weight is off of your shoulders. But there's still more to be done. Reports pour in from the neighboring provinces that corruption has taken root and the shards of Umbra cannot be defeated. A queasy feeling sets in. It seems as if Akan has won. All hope is lost, despite your best efforts. The feeling in your gut intensifies and your vision begins to blur. You blink, attempting to blot out the light overpowering your eyes, but to no avail. There's no leads to where Arkan is, but to save Arzu and restore balance to the world, he must be stopped. The thought creeps into your head as if it were there already. The figures of the spirit materialize before you, or you before them. Arkan has grown too powerful, and the corruption too strong. It will be up to you to seek out allies and gain access to other provinces to prevent the cataclysm befalling Arzu. For God, turn to your beginnings and save Arzu. Balance must be restored. Congratulations, you've completed the current early access version of Arcanium. Much more is coming. During early access, we will be adding new heroes for Azir, along with four new heroes from the next province, Scorched Lands, coming in the next several months. Then, Arkan himself will be finally ready to battle your team. Stay tuned to the game as it progresses through the development process. The tiny team here at Super Combo is so thrilled to have been able to share with you their flagship title. 
will be brought back to the main screen where you can start a new run, continue unlocking artifacts in Anador and Uzir, and new abilities for your heroes. See if you have what it takes to defeat Aranox and Rakzar in Apex difficulty. And then we can see a standard end of run reward. Items unlock this run. We have unlocked the Elemental Stone for some more cosmetics coming soon. Nature Stones for cosmetics coming soon. Voracious Bite deals 4 damage, resource 4 health whenever this destroys a minion. And Essence Crash deals 4 damage per AP spent. Shield Steel, it is an X cost. We also get the Noxious Trap. Uh, Mark Lob uh, applies 8 poison upon hitting the target with any nature card. Oh my God, that would have been ridiculous for us. Uh, Yakir Scimitar deals 25% damage to any extra enemy afflicted by vulnerable. Thorn Guard, apply one poison whenever an enemy hits you. That would have been great as well. Uh, Ember Flame Braces deals 25% extra damage to targets affected by burn. And then we got the Woolen Boots as well as the Sun Shadow Blade. Uh, cleanse one whenever you swap lanes, as well as 50% of all overkill is applied in a splash. You can see each of the individual heroes leveling up, as well as our progress through Arnador, the region in the base game at the very start, and Uzir, the region that was added with the update that prompted the coverage of this game in this particular instance on my side on this channel. We have the ability to restart with the same seed or a random seed. However, what we're really going to do right now is exit back out to the main screen. So that we can say that my name is in Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Arcanium Rise of a Calm. Again, I would like to thank Super Combo and Rogue for sponsoring this series. You can find a link at the very top of the description down below to the Steam Store page to pick the game up for yourself. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you some other time.